Hey everybody, hello and welcome. I hope you guys are all doing very well. Um, this is a really beautiful plant here. So this used to be known as Dizygophica elegantissima and Chefalera elegantissima, but it's been recently reclassified, so this here is now known as Plectrandra, I think, elegantissima, uh, or the false Aurelia. So this is in the Aureliaceae family. It's a native of um, New Caledonia, which is a French island in the South Pacific, but it's also native to a couple other archipelagos, so like Vanuatu, uh, the Solomon Islands, I believe also Fiji, so it's a very tropical plant. This here has historically been really hard for me to grow, but I think I finally got one happy, so I'm going to share what I've learned with you guys. So this plant has a few... Oh, actually, one thing that I want to say beforehand, just regarding pest management. Uh, the big pest that you're going to have to worry about with this one is mealybugs. It seems to be pretty resistant to other pests, but mealybugs, certainly it's not as hardy. So this is a plant that likes it to be very warm. Uh, it does not like cool temperatures at all. Anything below about 15 degrees Celsius, this plant will start to suffer. It likes it warm. It likes it very humid. So this is the kind of plant that, like, you want to have right next to a humidifier if you're growing it indoors. Um, it benefits from going outdoors during the summer, though. One thing I really love about Aureliaceae as a family is even when they're young, I don't know if you can see, there's just a beautiful patterning on the bark. They look like little trees. If you were to trim these bottom leaves off, it would look really quite nice. Uh, what I recommend is getting pots with a few different plants in them so that you can divide them later in case one of them fails. Biggest issue that I've had with these and from some of my friends that have them and just looking at the internet is crispy brown leaves. Usually that's a mixture of lack of humidity and not getting enough light. Um, this is the kind of plant where when you have it indoors, you want to have it in the brightest location you can possibly have in your house because it does not do well with shade indoors. Just it, it just declines very quickly. If you get leaf drop, that's also a humidity thing. You want it to um, be regularly humidified. Uh, you don't want this in the driest room of your house. If you have like a really bright south facing window in your bedroom, that would be the ideal place to grow this plant. Um, feeding. So this is much like a Balfour Aurelia. It requires quite a bit of uh, liquid feed. I find that it does best when uh, you give it a regular 20-20-20-10-10-10 balanced fertilizer. I use miracle Grow personally. Uh, I know the Job's Food Spikes actually do really well for these guys too, but they're heavy feeding plants. Even though they might not look it, they are quite heavy feeding plants. If you want to encourage branching, just cut the tops off. That's what I did with these guys. And I don't know if you can see, kind of in the middle, there's more branches going on here, which is really quite nice. It has almost like an oak leaf, kind of like a pin oak kind of shape. Um, these guys are more of a foliage plant. I think they look a little bit like cannabis from afar, actually. Um, they're said to be non-toxic, but I wouldn't eat them. I wouldn't keep them near pets, just because most tropical plants have that calcium oxalate, uh, which is that little crystalline structure within the leaf that causes irritation. So I, I can bet that they would irritate you if you were to eat them. I'm not going to try them. Um, if the new leaves, which come in a little bit lighter, start to crinkle up and become dry, once again, that's a humidity thing. This plant likes it to be evenly moist. It doesn't like to dry out a whole lot between waterings, but if the top third of the soil or so is dry between waterings, that's totally fine. It's a very slender plant, much like the Ming Aurelia. This can grow seven, eight, nine, even ten feet tall indoors, much taller in the wild. Uh, very erect, not very wide, maybe like three, four feet wide. Has very insignificant fruit. Uh, the fruit are said to be poisonous. They kind of are a black purple color. The flowers are very insignificant. They come in clusters of kind of like a lime green chartreuse colored uh, fruit, um, sorry, flower structure. But it's ridiculously rare to get these to flower indoors, like ridiculously rare. So if you do, like, you're very lucky. <laughs> um, yeah, so keep it warm, high humidity. Uh, liquid feed it quite frequently brightest part of your house if you're growing them even outdoors a little bit of direct sun i don't think would hurt them um you want to keep them very warm it's beneficial to plant them next to other plants 
just to raise the humidity even further. Uh, I'm growing mine in just regular generic potting mix. It seems to be fine for this plant. They like being a little pot bound. And yeah, doesn't smell like anything. Uh, this here is False Aurelia, Plectrandra elegantissima. It used to be classified as a Schefflera. I, I don't know if you can see it, it's because it has the compound leaves. Schefflera is the umbrella tree, by the way. You can get variegated ones too, they're very nice. Um, pretty slow grower from what I've seen, but you might be lucky and might grow quicker for you. Uh, have a good day, you guys. Uh, stay blessed. I'm trying to think of something a little more individualistic for videos to say, so I hope you guys have fun adventures. <laughs> we'll put it at that.